Hey guys, Dion from Dion Video Productions here, and today I'll be doing a Final Cut Pro 10 quick tip tutorial. Let's get started. Alright guys, before I do, I just want to apologize for being away for a few weeks, not having uploaded anything. Uh, I'm very busy with school currently and many other things. Uh, I'm currently in my last year of IB, so I've been a little bit busy with schoolwork as well. Uh, but today I'm back with a very simple yet useful Final Cut Pro 10 tip. Now I really emphasize the word simple uh, in saying that some of you guys may already know about this. However, this is a very useful tip if you do not know about this. Personally, I only found out about this a few weeks ago and I'm very happy I did uh, because this really uh, enhances the efficiency of my editing and just makes it a lot better experience. So let's go ahead and get right on into this tip here. So as you can see currently in my project line I have a, a video, this is a, a little video I made covering uh, a school event, this was the uh, senior retreat and this is a uh, quite a big project as you can see, this is the final uh, final product here, so we have a total of 72 items and this video is edited to the music so I often would need to zoom in or zoom out to my project line to make sure that it is properly timed and uh, works seamlessly with the song, right? So. How do you zoom in and out of your project line? Well, the traditional way is to go to the bottom right hand of your screen and select this slider and move it around. So I can uh, move it to the left to zoom out and move it towards the right to zoom in. Now, this is a very inefficient way of doing this because you have to move your cursor away from the current clip that you're editing or whatever you're doing, go back down here and move it and make sure you have the proper alignment and that usually doesn't happen in one time. So you, you find yourself moving it and whatever. It's, it's just not a great way to do this. Now. This is a very, there's a very simple solution to this, and that is simply to use pinch to zoom, right? Take advantage of this multi-touch trackpad that Apple has. So not only, of course, can you, you know, move throughout your project line with two fingers swiping left to right, you can also zoom in and out using pinch to zoom. Now, this may seem very simple, and it is, but this is something that I, at the time, did not know, and no, knowing this now, it really makes it so much easier to move and basically to move clips, to, to edit clips, or to just get an overview of your project or zoom in on a specific area. So. Very, very simple guys, very useful if you did not know about this, and trust me, this will save you a lot of time as you no longer have to be distracted from the current clip you're looking at, you know, move to the bottom right of the screen, move the cursor, now you can just simply select the clip you want to, zoom in like so, you know, make your adjustments, make sure it's properly timed on the music, right on the beat, and zoom back out to uh, see a full overview of your project again. Very simple tutorial guys, but very useful if you did not, but did, did not know about this. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys actually want to see this video that's currently my project line, I will have a link to this in the uh, end of the video and of course a link to another one of my tutorials. Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.